In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us online. As we gather this morning, church invites us to look into the way we allow God to change our life. Let us call to mind all the blessings in our life. And so with gratitude, let us bring our family and friends and ourselves to the presence of God and acknowledge our own shortcomings, the times we fail to be what we want to be, or who we want to become. So we pray, I confess, I Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. <clears throat> A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if only you would put up with a little foolishness from me, please put up with me, for I am jealous of you with the jealousy of God, since I betrothed you to one husband to present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I am afraid that, as the serpent deceived Eve by his cunning, your thoughts may be corrupted from a sincere and pure commitment to Christ. For if someone comes and preaches another Jesus than the one we preached, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received, or a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it well enough. For I think that I am not in any way inferior to these super apostles. <clears throat> Even if I am untrained in speaking, I am not so in knowledge. In every way, we have made this plain to you in all things. Did I make a mistake when I humbled myself so that you might be exalted? 
because I preached the gospel of God to you without charge? I plundered other churches by accepting from them in order to minister to you. And when I was with you and in need, I did not burden anyone, for the brothers who came from Macedonia supplied my needs. So I refrained and will refrain from burdening you in any way. By the truth of Christ in me, this boast of mine shall not be silenced in the regions of Achaia. And why? Because I do not love you? God knows I do. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. Your, Your works, works, O Lord, Lord are justice, are justice and, truth. and truth. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. Your, Your works, works o, Lord, o Lord, are justice, are justice and, truth. and truth. Majesty and glory are his <clears throat> work, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. Your, Your works, O oh Lord, are justice and truth. The works of his hands are faithful and just. Sure are all his precepts, reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. Your, Your works, O oh Lord, Lord, are justice, justice and, and truth. truth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You have received a spirit of adoption as sons through which we cry, Abba, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples in praying, Do not babble like the pagans, who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. We begin this month how to be transformed into the heart of Jesus. And this week, we started meditating the mustard seed. And we continue to read the Sermon on the Mount. Today, we read gospel teaching us how Jesus wants us to be changed our prayer life. For the Jewish concept of prayer, it's a cardinal virtue one of the three ways to walk back to God, prayer was finishing the 150 Psalms. And so Jesus is not telling when you pray, don't pray like the Pharisees or the scribes, because that was finishing 50, 150 Psalms. Remember the story in the Gospel of Luke, the prayer of the Pharisee and a tax collector. 
who is way behind in the temple and not even daring to look at the sanctuary. But he is comparing to the pagans and saying, that's not prayer. And then the prayer comes that it involves all the realms of our life, past, present, and future, where we allow God to change our life in the past and now and the future. It's a permission we give to God. Prayer is a relationship where we lift ourselves to God, allowing God to change us. We are not forcing God to change his plan and make our plans work. And so let us pray. Gracious Father, we thank you for all that we are and we have. We bring to you ourselves, our families, our parish, and this country and world with gratitude. Thank you for your providence and protection. Lord, we pray for our Holy Father, all the leaders of the church, that they be always in your grace and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for all the intentions of all the homebound, shut-ins, all those who are in hospitals and nursing homes, that they all be in your mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for all our deceased and departed, that they be in the bliss you promise to all those who trust in you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for each one of us that this day we may have the grace to surrender ourselves to you and to trust that you are our Father. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Gracious Father, we offer all these prayers and those that are in the silence of our hearts. We offer to you all our concerns and fears. Help us to trust in you. We ask this through the intercession of the Blessed Mother. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. Thus will become the bread of our life. Ashna, Lord, from all hearts. May the middle of this. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of wine, work of human hands. Thus will become our spiritual drink. Wash me, Lord, from all my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. My dear sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice for my name, for the praise and glory of his name, for all good. Amen. O God, who in the offerings presented here 
provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament. Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might, to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the Church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you as with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray. By sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving you thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and uh, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and uh, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember the intentions of Libyan Kelly Webb. Remember 
also our parents, brothers, sisters, and children who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all those who have died. In your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be choirs in eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, power, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of this your church, and graciously grant them the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. My dear sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul. In the body and blood of Christ, Give eternal life to all those who receive the name of the Son of God.
my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your Church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you this day and all the days of your life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Let us go and walk with Christ. Have a blessed day.